Developing software takes a certain set of skills, and not even I can write code that runs first time every time. When things don't work out, we use debugging, and a very common and useful technique for debugging is called single stepping. Over here, I've got a computer set up to demonstrate. This is an Altair 8800 computer. It's based on an Intel 8080 processor, it was built in about 1974, and it's this type of computer that Bill Gates and Paul Allen wrote their first version of BASIC for, and that led to the foundation of Microsoft. It's also a good way to demonstrate single step debugging. As you can see, it's running a program at the moment. In fact, it's one of the first games ever written for a home computer called Kill the Bit, where you have to try and get the LEDs to extinguish hours of entertainment. Um, but just like running a program in Visual Studio, you can stop it and then examine the contents of memory. The memory address is displayed here in these LEDs, the contents of memory on these LEDs. And using this switch, a single step, I can literally step through each line of code in the program and try and find where the problem is. If I do find the problem, I can set a new value and write it into memory. So you might be wondering, how can a computer from 1974 help me with modern development? Don't worry, I thought of that. I have this computer from 1977. It's a 6502 based Kim 1 and it can also single step through the code. I can step through the instructions in memory, find where the mistake is. I can enter the new code and be on my way. Now, for the latest, most up-to-date information on debugging, you should go to docs.microsoft.com.